Hello, and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 5th grade concept of multiplying 3-digit by 2-digit numbers. This is standard 5.3b in the great state of Texas, and we are using item number 27 off the 2017 released star test. If you have not done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and then we will look at our answers together. So we have 625 cell, cell phone cases being made each day, so that each day gives us a clue for multiplication because we're going to have equal groups, and then we're going to make 625 each day for a total of 31 days. So let's see what happens when we multiply 625 and 31. Now this first way I'm going to do it is actually going to be the long way. And this is going to be using a method called partial products. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to literally just put every single multiplication answer, every single product, onto a different row. So we're going to have all of these partial products. We'll add them up at the end. Now we'll show you the shortcut, the standard algorithm afterwards. But this will show you why this works. So we always start with our very bottom number in the bottom right-hand corner. So that's our ones place on the bottom row. And so we start from here and we move from the ones place, and then we're going to move to the tens place, and then we're going to move over to the hundreds place. Watch this. We're going to say 1 times 5, and that's going to be 5. Now we're going to start a new row. We're going to take this 1, we're going to multiply it by this 2, but realize this 2 is really in the tens place. So a 2 in the tens place is worth 20. So 1 times 20 is, well, that's easy. That's 20. So you see how we are lining them up there. Now we're going to multiply by this 6. Now the 6 is in the hundreds place. So 6 in the hundreds place is worth 600. So 1 times 600, that's pretty easy. 600. So you see we've, we did three different multiplication problems. 1 times 5, 1 times 20, 1 times 600. And we put them all right here. And if we add them up, you can see we're going to end up getting 625. We know that 1 times anything makes that number. And we multiplied 1 by 625. We just did it in three different parts. Now we get to this second row right here. Now realize this 3 is not a 3. It, it's a 3 in the tens place, which means it's a 30. So we're going to multiply 625 in three different parts by 30 because it's a 3 in the tens place. So 3 times... So 3 times 5 is going to be 15. So 30 times 5 is going to be 15 with a 0. We're just going to use our trick of multiplying by multiples of 10, 100, or 1,000. So 3 times 2 is 6. So it's really 30 times 20. So we've got two extra zeros. So 6 with two extra zeros is going to give us another 600. And then 3 times 6 is 18. But look at all these extra zeros. It's really 30 times 600. So that's an extra three zeros. That's two zeros for my 600, one zero for my 30. So that's going to be 18 with three extra zeros. I'm going to put that right there. Now, we add all of this up. Holy cow, that's a lot of adding. That's going to be 5. That's going to be 7. That's going to be 12, 13. That's going to be 9. 19,375. Now that's the long way. How do we do it? The standard algorithm. That's the normal way. Well, that's where we regroup if necessary. We do it in two rows. So what we do is we take this 1 and we multiply it by the 5. If we needed to regroup, we would, but we don't have to, so we're going to multiply the 1 by the 2. Put it right there. And then 1 by the 6, put it right there. We would regroup if we need to, but we're multiplying by 1. No need to regroup. So the 625 gets us what we got right here. Now we put a 0 in this place because we're multiplying everything by this 3, and we know that 3 is really a 30. So 3 times 15, we're going to put the 5 right there. We're going to carry the 1 because you can only put one digit there. So 3 times 2 is a 6. We're going to add that 1 back in there, so that's going to be a 7. And now we've got our 3 times 6, that's 18. So we only have two rows here. We've got to add them up, but we're going to get the exact same answer, 19,375. 